Hey fellow lab rats, this is Rebecca from the Lab Rat YouTube channel. So one of the most common questions I get early on in my hematology uh, lecture courses is what is a left shift? Um, so a lot of students seem to struggle with a concept of what this is. So I decided to make a video, um, a very short video here, uh, explaining uh, what a left shift is, what it means, and how to identify a left shift. Alrighty, let's get started. So to understand what a left shift is in hematology, we must first familiarize ourselves with the maturation cycle of a neutrophil, which a neutrophil is a leukocyte or a white blood cell. So blood cells are created uh, within the bone marrow. Uh, so this process, of course, starts in the bone marrow. So first, the process starts with something called a hematopoietic stem cell. These are cells that can become anything, so they're multi-potential. So then this multi-potential hematopoietic stem cell is exposed to certain chemicals and becomes a progenitor cell. And it, at this point, it knows uh, what it's going to become, so what cell line it's going to become. So in this case, it's going to become a neutrophil. So we will call this a myeloid progenitor cell. So it will be a lymphoid progenitor cell if it's uh, destined to become a lymphocyte and uh, basically everything else is going to be a myeloid progenitor cell. So then that myeloid progenitor cell becomes a myeloblast. And again, all of this is happening within the bone marrow. The myeloblast then becomes something called a promyelocyte, then a myelocyte, then a metamyelocyte, then a banded neutrophil or a band, and then finally a segmented neutrophil, which is the most mature form of the neutrophil cell line. Uh, so which you can see the segmented neutrophil um, is in the photo on the right hand side of this slide. So all right, so now that we have discussed this maturation line, let's look at the next slide here. So this is a picture representation of what I just talked about on the first slide there. Um, so let me get my pointer out here. So this one here is a blast. Then we have a promyelocyte, a myelocyte, a metamyelocyte, a band or banded neutrophil, and a segmented neutrophil, which is the most mature one. We also call these SEGs, okay? So all of these... Let me see if my laser pointer will go all the way. Yeah, all right. So the blast, pro, milo, and meta, all of these should be in the bone marrow. And a large majority of band should be in the bone marrow as well, but you can see some in the peripheral blood. So anytime that we see any of these cells to the left of this adult segmented neutrophil, that is what we consider a left shift, right? So we should see, uh, so 50 to 70% or, or so of all white blood cells in the peripheral blood should be segmented neutrophils, right? So you really should not see anything here to the left. So when a patient starts uh, producing um, these types of cells in their bloodstream, so in the peripheral bloodstream. So this is the this would be the blood that you would be doing a differential on. So when you start seeing these cells in the differential, we can refer to that as a left shift. All right. So what causes that? So let's go to the next slide here, and we'll talk just a little bit uh, about it briefly. So when talking about left shifts, there's two different kinds. So there's a degenerative left shift and a regenerative left shift. Um, they both present the same in terms of the immature cells, the immature neutrophils in the peripheral blood, but there's just different reasons for them and different classifications for them. Um, so degenerative left shift um, can um, be defined as immature neutrophils in excess of the segmented neutrophil. So more immature neutrophils than the adult normal segmented neutrophils. So that's one uh, degenerative left shift. Um, or it can be neutropenia, which is a decreased level of neutrophils in the peripheral blood with that left shift. So it can be one or the other. Um, so this occurs in uh, situations where there's severe inflammation. And uh, the, of course, the uh, white blood cells are going to be traveling to the tissues to uh, help uh, mediate uh, that inflammation uh, or whatever infection is happening. 
and uh, the bone marrow is unable to compensate for all of those neutrophils that are leaving the peripheral blood. Um, and so it's like, oh my goodness, we, we're, we're overworked, we can't meet the demand. And so it's going to start trying to make as many neutrophils as possible. Therefore, there's going to be a lot of baby neutrophils, so immature neutrophils, and it's going to push those out into the peripheral bloodstream uh, prematurely. Uh, so this happens, again, in severe infections with severe inflammation like sepsis. So the next type of left shift is regenerative uh, left shift, and this occurs with uh, neutrophilia with the left shift. So neutrophilia meaning an increased level of neutrophils in the peripheral blood, and then of course those immature uh, neutrophils in the peripheral blood. Uh, so this is considered an appropriate response. So the bone marrow has a sufficient amount of time to respond to the demand. So this is uh, the bone marrow doing what it's supposed to do and uh, generating these uh, neutrophils at the correct pace to keep up with the demand of whatever is going on in the body. Already, hopefully this helped you out. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel um, for more educational laboratory content. Until next time.